All right, so this video is for anybody having trouble using their new DualSense Edge PS5 controller on their PC. Since personally, I had trouble using this when I launched up Call of Duty through the Battle.net launcher. And when I try to use DS4 Windows, apparently there isn't an update yet that has DS4 Windows sensing this new controller. So I'll cut straight to the chase here with three easy steps to get this to work. All right, so there's going to be two things you're going to want to have here in order to get this set up and working on your PC. And one of them being is that you're going to have to have a PS5 and the other is going to be five dollars. All right. So now here is the three steps that you're going to want to do uh, for step number one. You're going to want to have to set up your back buttons here in your PS5. So when you go in your PS5, you go ahead and go into your settings menu. You go down into your accessories. Here I'm using remote play, so you don't see the DualSense Edge option here, but if you're on your PS5 and you're using your DualSense Edge, you're gonna go down to DualSense Edge, uh, click Custom Profiles when you move to the right, and then you're gonna create a profile. Uh, there's gonna be a default profile and a profile that you can create in order to map your back buttons there. So once that's done, you move on to step number two. For step number two, you're gonna wanna get the DSX app from the Steam Store. Go ahead and go to the Steam store, get DSX. Here it is, I already have it. You're gonna wanna buy it. This is where the $5 comes in. You buy the app. It, this is basically DS4 Windows, but a more official app uh, sold by Steam. Now for step three, basically once you have it purchased and installed, you're just gonna wanna launch the app. It's gonna ask you to download two files if you already use DS4 Windows, you might already have those two files. But once you get those two files installed, you just open up this app, go to home on the top left, make sure you're on home. And then under controller emulation, you choose DualShock 4. And that should sense the, Dual Shock, the DualSense Edge controller that you have. Now optional step four, enjoy any game you want on your PC using your new DualSense Edge PS5 controller. One more tip for all my Call of Duty players out there. Make sure that your settings for your audio device is set to the right mic because the DualSense Edge gets read as an audio device from your, on your PC. So go ahead and go down to your settings in audio. Make sure your microphone input device right here is set to the correct mic. If it gets set to default system device, it could be reading your controller as the mic and you'll sound like a like some sort of robot. That's what happened in game uh, when I was trying to talk to my teammates and then I figured it out last second, switch it over and you should be all good. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Do all the things, subscribe, like, comment or do whatever you want. Peace.